Bruno Fuchs? Who the hell is that? Henri. Henri! Hey gone guys, hope everyone is doing well. Today I'm going to be doing a video about a player that's been linked with Arsenal Football Club, and that is Bruno Fuchs. If you don't know who he is already, by the end of this video, you should have a rough idea. But before we get into it, if you can just smash that like button and subscribe if you're new, that will be awesome. So let's get into it. Alright, so this article is from HITC.com and the heading is reading, Arsenal Target has price tag halved, now available for just £7 million. So Inter International have slashed their asking price for Arsenal link centre-back Bruno Fuchs. According to Pianta Milan, reporting that the youngster is set to be available for as little as £7 million this summer. And it's also saying that, according to reports in Italy, International were planning to demand around £14 million for the highly rated Fuchs before the global health crisis plunged football into a period of unprecedented financial uncertainty. So... You know, this pandemic, it's been pretty bad and, you know, especially for those smaller clubs and those smaller competitions, you know, even in South America as well. And the only good thing it could be for Arsenal is that these players could go for a much cheaper price just so these South American clubs can stay afloat. So £7 million is a pretty decent price, I think, for a player like Fuchs and yeah it just goes on about here about him being slashed his price being slashed by 50% um, because if you think about it you know we've got David Luiz for 8 million for one season uh, also Pablo Mari I think we've paid about 6 or 7 million and he's only played one match for us and that wasn't even a Premier League game it was that cup game against um, Portsmouth so you know he's played one game cost six million this player could cost seven million and you know we could sign him on a pretty long deal considering his age as well so we'll get more into his play profile just after this article uh, it's also saying that and considering that transfer funds are short supply at the Emirates this year the timing of these reports could hardly have come at a better time for Mikel Arteta and co and also, you know, we've got a couple of defenders that we don't need anymore. They're at the back end of their career, just like uh, Socrates, David Luiz as well. You know, I don't know. I'll, in my previous video, I was saying that we should possibly keep him for another season. But uh, after those highlights I've seen against Brentford, what the hell was he doing? Like, that's not how an experienced player plays when... You know, he was in the middle of the park in our own half and Gwendozi was open. He could have simply passed the ball to him, but he decided to try to chip two players. Then he lost the ball and Brentford got the ball, counter-attacked us and they ended up scoring from that. So, you know, we can't have plays like that at the club. We need professionals. Even if it's just a friendly game, you don't do stuff like that because you're not going to try that in an actual game, especially if you're a centre-back and you're out of position already. And then you go and do something stupid like that. So, uh, you know, our defense in our midfield is terrible at the moment. So we do need reinforcements. And if it means we have to go to Brazil and get the cheaper option or an upcoming player, like, I'm ready to accept that and I'm happy with that. So uh, we've got a quote here. So it's saying that I think Bruno has a huge future ahead of him. I think if, it can, if he continues to work this way, Playing the same way, he will have a spectacular career. It is up to him to keep his feet on the ground. Cuesta tells Esporte Interativo. So, these names are bloody hard to pronounce, eh? Um, so, they're, they're giving him good promise here. They're saying that, you know, he's got good potential. He knows what quality he has. Football today also requires other things. Be professional take care, train hard, but he has a good head on his shoulders and I think he can do it. Without a doubt, he will be a national team player for Brazil. 
So in saying that, we'll just go into his player profile right now on transfermarket.com. Okay, so he's born on the 1st of April, 1999. He's 21 years old. He is 191 centimeters tall, which is about 6 foot 3 inches. He's born in Brazil. He's a center back. Um, I think he can play in a back three as well. Um, any side, left or right, but he's a right footer. So, uh, yeah, says it is a right footer. He plays for Internacional in Brazil in the first division. He joined them on the 2nd of January 2019. His contract expires on the 31st of the 12th, 2023. And he is sponsored by Nike. So... If we look at his uh, market value, it's, it says here it's been updated on the 8th of April 2020. And it's only 1.8 million euros. But, you know, he's on a four-year deal there. So it's going to cost a little bit extra than that with his buyout clause and um, also the agent fees and stuff. So 7 million seems like a fair price. So we'll go into his market value here. All right, so looking at his market value here, on the 28th of May 2019, his market value was only 50,000 pounds, or euros, sorry. And then on the 15th of August, that went up to 250,000 euros. November 27, 800,000. 2 million on the 20th of February 2020. And now it's dropped down to 1.8 million. And we'll look at his um, rankings as well. So he's ranked 3,449th in the world among all players. In the Serie A there in Brazil, he's ranked number 119. He's ranked 12th in his team. 297th among all Brazilians. And 573 out of all the center backs in the world. And 188th out of all the players that were born in 1999. So uh, those rankings aren't too good. But considering his age only being 21, he's got a lot of development to do. And who knows? It could be a steal at 7 million. But, you know, it could also flop. But if it does flop, it's only 7 million. And I'm sure we could recoup at least half of it or something. But... Um, We'll go to his highlights now and we'll have a look at how he plays and you guys decide as well. So I'll, I'll press play right now. He's good in the air. He's very, very good in the air considering his height. He's six foot three. So again, he wins another aerial ball there. And another one. So he's not scared to get up for a header, which is something we need for our team at the moment. Again, bang. He's very aggressive in the air. That's him playing for the Brazil under-23s. So he's already playing for them at the age of 21. He's actually a pretty good ball-playing centre-back as well. So there he is. He's got a, bit of, got a bit of techers in him there as well. So he's a pretty aggressive defender. He likes to get really tight on the attackers there. So instead of him backing off, which is a big problem for the Arsenal players, this guy gets straight in there. Takes a risk, but it can pay off as well. Again, he was a bit out of position, but he recovered well. And gets back. That was a brilliant tackle. See, he's he's actually not too slow. He's got some pace on him for his height. Bang, blocks the ball there. In, good interception there. Pings a long ball over here. So he's got vision as well, which is something we need on our team. I, I don't think we could ever see Socrates playing a ball like that. Look, another ball over the top, which is nice. Again, great vision over there, great vision. 
So he's playing on the right-hand side at the moment. Looks like they're playing a back three. So he's very versatile. Another crossfield kick. Pretty good. So it looks like he's playing on the right side of a back three in this formation. Nice ball in the middle. So he's pretty accurate with his kicks as well, which is very good. Bang, another one. So it looks like he's trusted with the ball there. Reads the ball really well. I don't know if he meant that though, that through ball. So it looks pretty calm on the ball. Another great ball. Nice pass there. So this clip is pretty much showing that he can do a short pass. He can ping a long ball. He's good at interceptions. See, good vision over there. He takes he he likes to take a risk as well, like pinging those balls in the middle instead of always playing it safe. So you need a, you need some risk takers in your club as well. He's not afraid to get forward. Read the ball there again. So it looks like he likes to get the ball and go forward a bit as well, which is good. He could help our attack out. Pings another ball out wide. Great cover there. So you kind of get the gist of what kind of player he is. I actually, by looking at these clips, he actually looks like he's pretty good. And he's only at the age of 21. So yeah, um, tell me what you think, guys. Would you take him at Arsenal Football Club? I think I would, especially for 7 million pounds. And I'm sure he's got more more potential than the current players we've got at the moment. Um, but we would also have to see a couple of our defenders leave for him to come in. But, you know, if we sign Mari on a, on a permanent deal, plus bring him in as well, uh, we've got a new back line there. Saliba coming in next season. So we're going to have, you know, a different look, different set of centre-backs there, different mentality. And, yeah... Personally, yeah, I would take him, man. I would. But yeah, you guys let me know what you think in the comments below. And any other defender you want to see at Arsenal Football Club. And yeah, thanks for watching. I hope you all have a good one. And I'll see you guys next time. I'm out.